The video shows the typical installation of the fertilizer spreader. As you can see in the video, the box was originally set on U-tabs with the um, bolt secured. What we do is we take the bolt out, separate the frame, lift it up about an inch, and then you can see with the way bars, we create a platform. And if you look in the picture, you can see a four by six inch angle iron design. We drill holes in that so that way the bottom bracket, as you'll see in the picture, can fit to that and, and is bolted and secured. The lower bracket will be welded as well. And then that will go to the side of the frame and the way bar will rest inside the bracket. The top bracket, as you'll see in the picture, is provided with the scale kit and is utilized by the angle iron and the cross member of the square tubing to rest on top of it. We originally lift the box up about an inch, put a spacer in there, and then come in with our angle iron platforms. We weld them, set the bar on that, put our top bracket on, as you can see in the picture, weld the top bracket to the cross members, and then after that the spacers are removed and then the weight is distributed on all four points. The design can be set up with a four point system or a six point system if you have a longer box. The system in the picture shows a 20,000 pound mobile capacity kit. We can configure them based on the four or the six bars, just depending on the size of the box. The advantage to this kit is that the way bars are self-stabilizing. We don't need to put anything else to say stabilize the bar once it is secured to the frame. There is no way that the frame can go anywhere. The U-bolts, we actually take and put a bolt in them so that way it secures the frame just in case. But there's no way anything can go anywhere as far as the frame separation. We use that simply as a safety precaution. They don't really need to be utilized. To get everything as level as possible, we use a tape measure and level. If you were off, say, a quarter of an inch here or there, you probably wouldn't see any ramifications because the frames tend to bend just a little bit and will sit down on the four or the six bar and cause you no problems. The materials that we used were the four by six by half inch angle iron. You can make those yourself. They're of metal or you can purchase them from us as well. They can be provided with the kit. The four or six bar load cells with the mounting brackets can, or are included. You might need a few other miscellaneous pieces of metal. Most everything you need is provided. Once the four or six bars are in place, they tie into a central junction box receiving unit. We consolidate all the four bars there, and then it goes into a cab with a digital readout or the newer style the Bluetooth device, which would then go to a tablet or a phone.